How to create a 3D pop-up effect in Photoshop Elements 12. Select an image, duplicate this image twice by clicking Ctrl J twice, add a blank layer, put it between your two top layers by clicking and dragging, go to your background layer and make it black by hitting Alt Delete, turn off the visibility of your top layer, Go to your second layer and choose the Marquee tool, Rectangular Marquee. This is a selection tool, and I'm going to select pixels, but not the entire part, because this is the part that's going to pop up. Then I go to Edit, Stroke Outline. I'm going to make my outline white, and I'm going to choose 10 pixels, but you may need to adjust that depending on your resolutions, and click OK. It's supposed to look like a photo. I'm going to go to select, deselect, so that I get rid of the marching lines. Next I'm going to go to Image, Transform, Perspective. I'm going to get a two-point perspective by clicking, I just click one corner and both corners come in, and I might do a little bit on the bottom. It's going to give it that um, three-dimensional perspective look. Next I'm going to choose my Selection Brush, which probably will look like this. Within it, I'm going to choose my magic wand and select the white pixels. You'll see two rows of marching lines. Now I'm going to go to layer one, click layer, layer mask, and I believe I click reveal selection. Find my paint bucket and I'm going to dump it inside the square with, sorry, with white to reveal the photo. Now I'm going to go back to the top layer, turn the visibility on, and select that. Now I'm going to use a selection tool to select the top half. I'm going to select from about the neck up. I would suggest the magnetic lasso and zooming in a little bit. You want whatever part you're going to select filling the screen. So I just click to start my magnetic lasso and I just trace around the part that I want to pop out. If necessary, click periodically if, you, if it's cutting off more than you want. Ooh, going to have a little cleanup there. And draw around all the way down. Don't worry if it does some things like cut off his ear or a little bit of his head. And then I'm going to bring it all the way back down, and i got to click where I started, and I want those mar ma marching lines. Now if I control plus to zoom in, I can see this part that needs to be fixed, and I'm going to go back to my selection brush, and I'm going to select it, kind of round it a little bit, so his fingers are a little bit more believable. And I think I missed part of the volleyball here. If you get crazy and you go, oops, outside, hold your Alt and you can unselect it. You can make your brush smaller by using the brackets, which are next to the P. These kind of areas is where it really makes it more believable. I think I missed his ear. Make my brush a little bit bigger. Get his ear in there. But here I want to cut I, I want to cut off some of that head. Let's smooth it out. He's kind of got a lumpy head going on here. Slow and steady. I think that might look pretty good. When you think you've got it, what you're going to do is put another layer mask. Layer mask, reveal selection, and there you go. Now you need to fine tune it by zooming in. At this point, you're going to choose a regular brush. And I believe we want it to be black. And you're going to use, make sure you're on the layer mask, and you're going to use a brush to kind of, that I took off too much, change it to white.
control minus, zoom out, control plus zooms in. His fingers don't look very good. Oops. I'm gonna use my black, it's gonna hide. His finger doesn't look very good. Try to lump on that volleyball. Sometimes you need to take some off just because it doesn't look right. His wrist looks funny right there. Whoops. Zoom in. All right. Get the idea. The final touch is um, making a gradient on the background. So click here. Make sure it's black to white gradient. Ugh, that's not what I want to do. Sorry. I want to do it to the background. That makes it really look more believable. When you've got it done, save it as a Photoshop, save it as a JPEG, and turn it in.